So exams are cancelled and school is shut and the big question from all of you is do I have to revise? Why do I keep having to turn up to lessons? Um, and there's a really important answer to this and there is a smaller not so important answer to this. I'll do the big really important answer first. Um, the big really important answer is because you are still going to be assessed and we don't know how yet. So last year they used centre assessed grades which were then standardised and then unstandardised and it was a real mess. This time they've got a little bit more time to come up with a better plan but you are still going to be assessed somehow. Now I have already seen talks from um, people that should know what they're talking about, rumours saying that these are going to be externally set assessments. But not exams. Externally set assessments that may take place in school, you'll just go into the classroom, like you could all spread out um, with your teacher invigilating and maybe marking these. We know Wales has already gone to externally set to mark assessments, but not exams. Um, they announced that a few months ago. So far, I'm only seeing that these are externally set assessments. Um, but we haven't heard too much about that yet. Now, if you were gonna go back to school after Christmas and do your mocks, um, maybe your mocks were in this month or in February, and you haven't had the chance to do those yet, your teachers don't actually have a lot of solid data to assess you on. So you are probably still going to have those exams, tests, maybe in a slightly different format we don't know quite what that is every school's going to be doing stuff slightly differently but what your teachers are going to be focused on is collecting as much data on you as possible so that they can make a fair and balanced assessment of what grade you've got now there are lots of things you can actually do to help your teachers give you a fair grade um if you are doing any practice papers at home tell your teachers. Um, if you're doing any uh, online courses, any multiple choice questions, and you get results from that or certificates from that, tell your teachers. Um, the more data they have, the more they can see you're working towards getting a really good grade, the more effort they can see you're putting in, the better it is going to be for you. If you're putting lots of effort in, you're trying really hard, that might move you up the rankings. If you're showing your teachers that you did this past paper or any of the predicted papers from my website and you got this grade on it, um, and you're continuously telling them that you got this grade on this paper and this grade on this paper and this grade on this paper, and helping them by providing them with evidence and providing them with data, that is only going to be a good thing for you. Um, one thing you definitely shouldn't do is harass your teachers and I saw loads of reports last year of threatening teachers saying if you don't give me a five on this I'm going to come and do this to you. That is literally only going to backfire. Okay, do not do that. Please do not do that. That is literally the worst thing that you can do to teachers who are very very stressed at the moment so the the big long complicated answer is no you can't stop revising because you are still going to be assessed we just don't know how yet and the problem is if you stop now and relax and don't do any revision or turn up to any of the lessons at school and then they turn around in May and say this is how you're going to be assessed and you're kind of like, oh, but I stopped working in January. That's 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 going to be a bit of a problem for you. So I'm not saying we have to like kick into hardcore revision mode. I'm just saying keep going. Don't stop. Don't relax. Um, I mean, you can relax a little bit because we know we don't have an exam day, a single data point where everything is based on. And this is always problematic because, you know, you're biology exam could be like a really really bad day for hay fever or like something could have happened the night before or you could be fasting or for whatever reason an exam could just go really badly for you. I know for one of my A level biology exams I started my period on that day and then I fainted halfway through the exam. That was not a good exam for me um, but fortunately back then they were modular so I could just re-sit the exam like a couple of months later. So don't stop is the main message until we know for definite until i tell you you can stop and spend the next 
however many months watching Netflix, don't stop. Just keep going. You don't have to do loads and loads on top. Um, but just turn up for your lessons, keep handing in all your work, as much work as you can. And if you are struggling with anything, then be honest with your teachers and tell them that you're struggling or tell them why you are struggling. You might have lots of other uh, responsibilities at home. There might be lots of other siblings who are noisy and shouty. Um, your grown-ups at home might be out to work and you might be responsible for those younger siblings and getting the year seven to do that math when they don't want to. Um, I know lots of you are in horrible, impossible situations at the moment and the best thing you can do for this is just be honest with the school and do the best you can but please don't stop turning up for lessons just because you think you don't have to anymore. Keep doing the work, keep turning up for lessons, keep handing stuff in um, because your teachers need as much data as possible and we don't yet know for certain what the actual assessment criteria is going to be. Um, the other reason that you shouldn't stop is what you're going to do afterwards. If you're doing GCSEs and you want to go on to A level, or whether you're doing A levels and you want to go on to um, degree, I'm going to pick maths as an example because it's a nice easy example. If you're doing GCSE maths and you stop now, you are going to find the start of A level maths really really hard because you've missed a massive chunk of the course. If you're doing A level maths and you stop now, you're going to find a big chunk of your degree really really hard because you've missed a massive chunk of the course. So even if you uh, like aren't being examined or that they do come up with the assessment criteria tomorrow or before I manage to get this video edited and published, um, don't stop because it will make your life really, really hard. Um, whenever I take on a new like year 12 chemistry class, it is really obvious the ones who revise really, really hard for their exams because they remember stuff. Even over that six, eight week gap, people forget loads and loads of stuff. Well, you are not going to be starting your A-levels or your university college course for another nine, ten months. And that is a long time to forget stuff. So even if you are not being examined on anything, the subjects that you want to continue next year please just continue with. You don't have to, like, if they decide the assessment criteria before I get this video out, and the first part of this video is then absolute rubbish, even if you don't have to hand anything in, just keep going, because it will make your life easier next year, or well, like next academic year, in nine months' time. It will be absolutely impossible to keep up with the A-level or keep up with the university level of work that you're expected to if you're also having to go back and re-teach your, teach yourself independently the GCSE or the A-level stuff because you stopped now. Um, so make your life easier in the future and do the work. Now, I say this every single year. Over the summer, just like keep up a little bit, a little bit, you know, use the summer start to a little maths course that I've got so you don't forget, so you don't fall behind. And loads of people don't do that and then they come in, it's really hard. Honestly, every single year 12 class I take over, we start with where are protons? Where are electrons? And you basically have to try and cram the whole of GCSE into a week and remind them that they actually did used to know stuff. Um, some other days everyone just kicks back and thinks they can forget everything. But everything you're doing next academic year is going to be built on what you're currently doing. So please keep doing it. Um, anyway, that's the end. I wish I had really happy sparkly news for you, but I don't. Anyway, I'm going to be here with you the whole time because I'm not going anywhere else and because I love you.